Hello, cross country parents. Um, in a typical year, we would normally start out the season with a parents meeting where um, as coaches, we'd get together with you and uh, tell you a little bit about the season. And I think already we know that this is not a typical year. And so instead of us gathering at school, I thought that I would send you a message via video um, and give you a little background about what to expect in the next few weeks with cross country. Um, to start with, I'm Sharon Smith. Uh, the other coaches that are working with your kids are Cody Reed and uh, Mike McCabe, who volunteers with us. Um, we all happen to teach at Eagle View um, at the middle school level and um, are very excited about this year. Um, to start with, um, thank you for all the paperwork and forms, et cetera, that you have filled out or had your kids fill out um, for the season. Um, thank you also for having them um, fill out the, the daily COVID um, form that they need to do. We appreciate that. Um, we, you know, we know that some of those things are probably harder than some of the workouts, et cetera, that we have to do just to keep track of all of that. Um, if you are uh, new to cross country, um, and actually for those of you, there are some um, parents who have been through the cross country uh, experience several times. Thanks for coming back. Um, if you are new, there are a couple things uh, to know what to expect. Um, and we'll do a little bit of cross country 101 to start with. Um, in, a, in a meet at the middle school level, um, the races are two miles long. We have um, four races set up um, this year in our abbreviated schedule. And some of those will be against um, one other team or in what's called a tri-meet with two other teams. Um, a cross country meet is scored um, with the first five people who come in for a team and the low score wins. So if you come in first, you earn your team one point and so on down the line. So the best score that you can have in cross country is a 15 if you come in as the first five people. Um, the boys team usually uh, runs first and then followed by the girls. So for scheduling, that's what our league has agreed upon. Um, some other things to expect, um, hopefully at this point after a couple weeks that your sons and daughters are coming home, um, not complaining too much, but telling you some things about um, what we've been doing at practice. In order to get race ready, we um, have a variety of things that we do in practice from strength workouts, which include hills, um, some speed things that we gradually work up to and also endurance. Um, so we are, we are working on that so that um, in the next few weeks, we will be getting faster and faster and ready to race. Um, one of the things um, that I would also like to, to make sure that we um, set up from the beginning is that um, with communication, that we have a way, especially since we are in many different places during the day, uh, these days that we have a way to get in touch if we need to. So um, with this, I have your emails and I can send out some things to the team. Um, the, the kids also have a Schoology group. So um, if we as coaches need to get in touch with them, we can send messages. And then we also have the website, um, which we can also use as a, as a central place to get information out. If you need to get in touch with us at any point in time, um, my email is pretty much the best way to do that. If, so if you have questions or concerns, um, please email me. Um, also, uh, if, you have, um, if you have appointments or things where um, your runners need to miss practice, please just send me an email and that way we know where everybody is, which would be super helpful. Um, one of the things now that we've been in a couple weeks that might happen too, um, we are trying to be very careful about um, how many miles we put on the kids and how, many, how, much, um, how much stress and strain we add while still getting stronger. Uh, so one of the things that we ask is that if your sons and daughters start to feel ouchy or start to feel like um, they have more than just regular aches and pains, we need to let you know that we have trainers available to us. Uh, we have the district has athletic trainers that are available um, to you. And if you feel that something uh, needs attention, that you'd like to have um, something looked at, please let me know, or you can also 
um, call directly with the trainer, we can set that up together. Um, we would always rather check something out ahead of time um, rather than wait too long to find out. So that's a, that's a resource that is definitely available to us. Um, we are coming up on our first away meet. And next Wednesday, we're scheduled to go to Chambersburg. Since we have, um, since we have a Wednesday meet, uh, we have a bus scheduled for all of the runners and the coaches to go to the meet. Um, we leave from Eagle View with enough time to go to the, to the away meets and walk the course first. Uh, that's pretty standard so that runners know where the race is before they're, they're into it. From there, um, we will have the race uh, this coming, this next week, uh, the boys race will start at 4.30 followed by the girls race. If you would like to come to the race, um, we would love to have you. I will usually send out the week before, I'll send the address of the, the race location. Um, this coming week, it'll be at, it's Chambersburg, but it's Falling Spring Elementary is where they hold their races. We have, I just got an email today uh, to let us know that each runner is asked to have, they may have uh, two spectators. Uh, with COVID, there's been a lot of talk about how many people can be together, even though we're an outside venue, and they're asking for no more than two spectators per person. Um, they're not going to do a voucher, but they are asking if you're coming that you're wearing masks um, and you're able to come and see your kids run. Um, one of the things that I have had that I forget to tell people sometimes, um, there are, um, when you come to a cross-country meet, you may want to wear comfortable shoes because uh, while you can't run, you certainly can't run next to kids or, or get in the way of the running, um, sometimes you can go from different um, locations to see different parts of the race, and you're definitely allowed to do that. After a race, um, if you would like to take your um, kids home with you, that makes more sense than to have them come on the bus and then pick them up um, at school. Um, for that, we have parents sign out. Uh, we have a sign out sheet just so that we know that everybody's where they're supposed to be. And um, if you are unable to come to the meet, then we will take your kids safely home on the bus back to Eagle View and we'll make sure we'll give you an idea of what time we're going to be back um, so that you can pick them up there. Um, at the, we do have one home meet scheduled. Um, that's in a couple weeks and I will make sure that I reach out to you once I know some, if we have um, certain restrictions from our district about uh, spectators, et cetera. Um, one of the things that we have been very impressed with, um, with the kids is certainly the fact that um, they've been excited to, to be there and working really hard at practice. As coaches this year, we have found that um, we appreciate so much the kind of the regularity or the, the normalcy for lack of a better description um, of being able to be together um, for practice. And we really appreciate the effort that, that, that you've had to make to get, to get kids to practice. Um, we appreciate that more than you know. Um, and one of the things that we continue to work on with middle schoolers who love to be um, next to each other and talking to each other, uh, they've been very good about masks when we, when we come so that we're um, so that we're compliant and making sure that we're doing everything to keep everybody safe. Um, and then when we're running, then um, it's masks off, but we're, you know, we'll continue to work on that because we are so grateful to be able to have a season um, and we need to, to do everything that we can to keep that up. Um, there are a um, couple of other things um, that as we, get, as we get closer to meets, um, we need to do a little bit of preparation. We have uniforms to give out, which we will do in the next couple of days. Um, we'll start to talk about what all of this other practice has been for that we look forward to uh, racing on Wednesday. Um, Chambersburg is always, uh, they're a team like CV is that um, we always have a really nice rivalry and, and run against them. So that should be pretty great. Um, I'm going to, with this email, just leave, a, a, in this message, um, I'll give you a little bit more information, but if you need to see me or if you need to see any of the other coaches, um, each day after practice, we are always there until kids are picked up. 
Um, as teachers, we usually go back inside and get the rest of our things packed up for the day. But if you ever need us, um, please feel free to, to come by or to, you know, to let us know. Um, we're always there. We won't let anybody sleep at school um, afterwards when we're done. Um, other than that, um, we are excited about how the, how the season is going and look forward to seeing you soon and look forward to seeing uh, some great racing ahead. So thanks very much.